had now a four day policy deep dive here in the heart of the European Union in Brussels, learning about policy making and meeting with many of the very important stakeholders. We did all around the 360 degrees look into how stakeholders are operating to better understand what we do. And we not just went there and uh, observed what was happening, we engaged in discussions, we brought out new ideas and we forged new collaborations. I'm just uh, very excited about uh, the power and the spirit what you have and this is very different kind of a patient organization. The patient organizations here in Europe are doing great work but they are focusing on prevention or medication or uh, treatment on, 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 on certain uh, diseases and what I understand about your agenda it's much broader uh, when it uh, of course sort of a uh, includes uh, the, the future of you know, the finances, employment and many this kind of issue. It's really been the in-depth look by the experts. You can read about it, you can watch videos on it, but you can't actually ask questions. You can't have these in-depth discussions about how everything works. Because when you do understand how the inner workings kind of of the European Union all work, that's when you can finally implement policy changes. And that's kind of a huge part of what this division of Youth Cancer Europe is about. Youth Cancer Europe have been very generous, putting us in front of the EU Health Commissioner's team, putting us in front of the different think tanks. So it's been extraordinary getting to meet these people and seeing how they listen to us. I think it's hugely important, really, for all our policy actions, uh, as, as we said in the meeting, uh, legislative or non-legislative, the patients and, and all the stakeholders, their voice is the first thing what we want to hear. They bring the, uh, the issue to the table and what we try to solve is uh, listening to them. Mm -hmm.